Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to Abundant Life Worship Center in the house and on the E campus. I'm Pastor James Sherman Williams Jr., one of the co leaders here with Apostle Jewel Williams at Abundant Life Worship Center. Thank God for you today. Thank God that you are able to hear, able to, to breathe, able to be a part of the creation that our Father in Heaven has made for us. And I just want to open us up in prayer with a scripture from 1 Thessalonians, the 5th chapter, verses 16, 17, and 18. 1 Thessalonians 5, 16 through 18, where it reads in the King James Version, translation, amen. Rejoice evermore, pray without ceasing, and everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. And so this is an admonition, it's a, a directive, it's a, a, an opportunity for us to attune our minds, our spirits, to be able to rejoice evermore, to rejoice in what God has created, to rejoice in the opportunity to turn to him for whatever it is that you need, for help, for inspiration, for wisdom, for strength, for encouragement, for healing, whatever it is, yes. God is there ready, willing, and able to assist you. And then to pray without ceasing, both verbally, but also praying in your mind, in your spirit, as you meditate on, on, on who God is, on who you are as his created being, on who you are if you've answered the call, Amen. To say, I want to be saved. That you've answered the call to say, I want to have, I want, I want the Lord Jesus Christ to be my Lord and Savior. If you answered that call and said yes, confessed with your mouth and believed in your heart that God raised him from the dead, then, then that prayer without ceasing takes on many, many, many levels. Levels of, of verbal communication, of, of meditation, of, of sometimes just being quiet. Yeah. So you can hear what God is saying to you and then hopefully saying, yes, Lord, I hear you. I trust you and I will obey. And then in everything, give thanks. Yeah. In everything, give thanks. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Amen. So even doing the actual mental and spiritual divine work of saying, thank you. Thank you, Lord, that I'm here. Thank you, Lord, that you have created me. Thank you, Lord, that you will help me because we as humans are going to go through ups and downs. Our emotions are going to go up and down. Situations are going to change. Sometimes they're going to be what we expect. Sometimes they're going to be, be surprises. Sometimes they're going to be situations that we would not characterize as good. Amen. But God is calling us to give thanks even in those situations. Thankful that he is still with us in those situations. Thankful that he is still able to help us to go through those situations. Thankful that he will give us the wisdom, the guidance that we need, that if we trust and obey, will help us navigate those situations. So thankful for that. Not thankful that my leg was broken. Not thankful that I'm going through a situation, but thankful that God is with me through that. Amen. And so as we continue, I just want to continue to pray into that. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you, Lord, that you have given us an opportunity to come to you, to come boldly to the throne of grace, to come to you and say, Lord, here I am, just the way I am. We don't have to sugarcoat. We don't have to front faith. Or, or get all cleaned out. Sometimes we just need to come to God as raw and real as we are because he already knows where we are. Where we are. He yeah. already knows the things that we may be struggling with or the things that we have overcome because we are conquerors. He already knows these things, so we're thankful that we can come to you, Lord. Yes, God. Thankful, Lord, that right now you are the one that can breathe life into us. You are the one that can breathe light into any dark situation that we might be dealing with. You are the one that is ready, willing, and able to save those that say, today is going to be my day. Today is going to be my day of salvation. Today will be my day of rededication. Amen. <clears throat> today will be the day that I see a little more of what Jesus already has implanted in me so that I can live out my destiny. Today is the day that I will have that opportunity to bridge a gap 
that's been between me and someone that, that, that doesn't need to be there. Today is a day, Lord, where you're going to unify people, Lord, beyond what they look like, beyond what their own agenda is, beyond what, what happened yesterday. Today is a new day that you have given us in order to do something great for the kingdom of God. And first it starts with us. It starts with our own personal work. Lord, I thank you that you are reaching down into the hearts and soul, into the bodies and minds of people, Lord, to heal them, to, to, to uplift them, to strengthen them, Lord, to give them a, a glimpse of hope, Lord, where there might be despair. Lord, today is a day that you are giving people exactly what they need. Yeah. And not always what they want. Lord, I, I pray today that somebody sets aside what they want or how they feel to say, well, I'm going to do what God has called for me to do today. I'm going to move forward in what God has called for me to move forward in. Yeah. I'm going to build a relationship where it needs to be built. I'm going to cut off relationships that don't need to be, that don't need to be anymore, Lord. I'm going to transcend and transform and move and be shaped and formed into who you want me to be, Lord. Yeah, yeah. Today is a day that somebody's going to make progress, amen, that they're going to make a, a pathway where they didn't see a pathway before, yeah. Lord. They're going to receive a healing that they didn't have yesterday. They're going to receive inspiration to do what it is that they've been called to do and gifted to do and talented to do and platform to do that they didn't do yesterday. Today is going to be some time where somebody say, you know what, I can do a little better than I did yesterday. I can yeah. move a little closer to what the Lord has called for me to do. I can see a little more in his word. I can see how that applies to my life so that I won't be stuck in the mud, amen. And I will be progressing and transforming and moving forward today. I will be a little more encouraged than I was yesterday. Yeah. Yesterday I may have been so tired and, and just broken down, but today I feel I feel the, 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 the spirit lifting me up. I feel I feel yeah. even more than I feel I am going to be lifted up by God through his spirit, amen, because it's more than a feeling. Today somebody's going to move beyond how they feel in a situation to make a step. For right to make a step yeah. to, to move forward. Today is a day that somebody's going to reach out to somebody that's been on their mind and in their spirit and they've been praying for, but today they're going to make contact, amen. Yeah. They might have a face-to-face -face where they've only been in, 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 um, uh, uh, in, in a distant place. Today is a day that somebody will repair a situation that has been broken for way too long that yeah. God wants to put together. Today is a day that people will be unified and will not be dis divided by petty situations yes, and circumstances and denominations and issues that don't have nothing to do with moving forward yes, in what God. God has called for us to be yes, as God. his children unified under one Lord. Yes, God. Listen to one spirit. That same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead is alive today. That same spirit yes. that's saving somebody today. That same spirit that's healing and transforming the people of God today is that day. And I pray, amen, that we give God the glory, that we give him the credit, that we don't say, oh, yeah, I'm standing on something. Yeah, I'm standing on business. This was all me. I pulled myself up from my bootstraps or, or this was all me. Didn't nobody help me, but I made it. I, 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 today I pray yes, God. that somebody says, thank you, Jesus, for what is happening. Yes, thank God. you, Jesus, for the good that is. Thank you, Jesus, for the inspiration of where people will go as we thank God and we pray without ceasing. And in everything, give thanks. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Apostle Jewel. Amen. And as we continue in prayer, and we've been talking about the topic all this month has been being grateful and thankfulness. Amen. And so on this Resurrection Sunday, first of all, I want to say praise God. He is risen. Amen. Uh, I just want to be thankful for the fact that we have a risen Savior. I'm reading a couple of scriptures. I'm going to pray through these scriptures as I read it. Amen. Ephesians 2 verses 8 through 9 says, For by grace you have been saved through faith, 
And this is not your own doing. It is a gift of God, not a result of works, so that no man, no one, <clears throat> excuse me, may boast. Amen. Now, we thank you today to know that we have the opportunity to be saved through the faith that we place in Jesus Christ. And Father, I thank you that it is not because of anything we've done. We're not good enough. We don't know enough. We're not in the right place. Nothing that we do in and of ourselves has made us saved. It is all a result of the work that is in Christ. And so, God, we thank you that we come humbly today saying thank you for that. But we don't boast in being saved. And, Father, in fact, God, we're grateful, we're humbled to know that we have this opportunity to be in relationship with you, to have purpose that is given by you, and to know that your son died for us. Amen. Uh, Titus 3 and 5 said he saved us. Not because of works done by us in righteousness, but according to his own mercy, by the washing of regeneration and the renewal of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We thank you that your Holy Spirit dwells within us, that we have access to your power so that we can walk in purpose, we can walk on purpose, and that we know that we're not walking this life alone. We're thankful today, God, to know that anything that we stand in need of, whether there's wisdom for uh, our path, whether there's direction, whether there's instruction, wh whatever it is that we stand in need of, we are thankful today because of your spirit that leads and guides us. Amen. And Father, we thank you because Acts 4 and 12 says, and there is salvation and no, no one else, for there is no other name under heaven given among men by which we must be saved. So today, God, on this Resurrection Sunday, I pray that, you're, that people will come to the understanding and the knowledge of their need for Jesus Christ. I pray, Lord God, that lives will be saved today. That destinies would be changed. Amen. That people's purpose would be, people would begin to walk into their purpose, grab hold of their purpose, and begin to live out their purpose. I pray today, God, that you would have those that, that uh, come to know you, that they would be secure in their salvation. Meaning that they know that they're saved by way of Jesus Christ and that the enemy of their soul does not torment them, uh, uh, taunt them, and make them believe that they're not saved because they don't necessarily feel different. Father, we thank you that it's not based on on what we feel, but it's based on the truth. And the truth is, you said, if we confess with our mouths and believe in our heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. That's what Romans 10 and 9 says. So, Father, Amen. we thank you that we have confessed. And those today that are going to confess uh, they're, they're, but with their own mouth that Jesus is Lord, and they're going to believe in their own heart that God raised him from the dead. And, Father, you said when we do that, we will be saved. God, I thank you today to know that Jesus told us that I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no one comes to the Father Amen. except through me. God, we thank you today to know that it is through Christ and Christ alone that we are able to stand. He is the way maker. He is the, he is the one that brings us into your presence. He is the one that offers the door. He is the door. He opens it up so that we can come in and sup with you, that we can come in and have fellowship with you. We can come in, God, and have every need met. Amen. And so, Father, because of the great God that you are, we thank you, Lord, that today, uh, on this day, that we are reminded that you are not only the God that saves, you don't just save us and then leave us to ourselves. <laughs> you don't save us and then say, okay, go figure this thing out. Amen. You don't save us and then say, I'm just going to sit back and watch and figure you figure this thing out. No, God, you walk with us, you talk with us, you lead us, you guide us. Wherever we have need, you provide for us. So I thank you today, God, to just even we're reminding ourselves that because of our relationship with Jesus Christ, you are a way maker, you are a miracle worker, you are a healer, you are a deliverer, you are the one that saves us, sanctifies Amen. us, renews us. We thank you, God, today for the renewing of our spirits. We thank you, Lord God, for you are the one that brings revelation. We thank you for the gifts and the gifts of the spirit. We thank you, Lord God, for the gifts that operate on the inside of us. We thank you today, God, to know that there is provision for us. We thank you, God, today to know that there is purpose for us. We thank you, God, today to know that we're not bound by anything that the enemy tries to keep us bound by. It don't matter how long it might take you to get free. But freedom is ours in the name of Jesus. Amen. God, I thank you, Lord God, that you uh, loved us so much that you gave your son for
for us, not, not when we deserved it, because what we deserved was hell. But I thank you for saving us, sanctifying us, and, and filling us with your Holy Spirit. I thank you, Lord God, that you are our strong tower in the times of trouble. I thank you, God, that today we know whatever we need, we have access to. I thank you, Lord God, that, that, the, uh, that you bless us. Uh, you bless us beyond measure. You bless us be, uh, 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 in overflow. You uh, give us the abundant blessings of the Lord. Father, I thank you that even as your children, we have the authority and the power that has been given to us by you. Not to misuse it, not to, to think that we look much better, but God, you've given us the power so that what we can call and we can come in agreement with heaven. And when we call something from heaven down to earth, it must uh, 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 align itself. And so God, I thank you today for that authority and that power that you have given to us. Amen. God, and we just say thank you. Ah, uh, we say thank you. We are grateful today, Father. So even as we prepare to go into morning service. Father, I ask that you keep reminding us today that you are the risen Lord. Uh, everything the enemy did and thought that he was going to do to stop your move, he was not able to. He thought that if killing Jesus was going to be uh, what stopped the move, but he didn't realize that the, the, the sacrifice of Jesus is what actually enacted your mission and your plan. Amen. So God, we thank you that no matter what that comes against us, it's the same for us. The enemy may think he's he's won. He may think he got you under, under his foot. He might think you out. Oh God, but I thank you. You it's not we are not it, you he's not gonna get a, a TKO. He's not gonna knock us out. We Amen. thank you, God, today that we're gonna be able to continue to stand because we're not the one in the ring fighting. You and the one you and the one in the ring fighting for us. And we thank you, Lord God, because you have already won the battle. And because you've already won the battle, God, we thank you today. We just gonna walk in the victory. We're gonna believe it. We're gonna we're gonna confess it. We're gonna align our thoughts and our minds to it because we're gonna move and do what you have called for us to do. So God, we just say thank you. Psalm 37, 39 says, the salvation of the righteous is from the Lord. He is the stronghold in the time of trouble. Amen. So God, we thank you today to know that no matter what we come up against, no matter what comes our way, because of your salvation and you call us your righteous, that we stand in the place where you are our strong tower. You are the one that's stronghold. You are the one that keeps us. You are the one that provides for us. So Father, I pray an encouragement over your people today. Let not their situations and circumstances discourage them and make them think that they're defeated. God, because you always got a ram in the bush. You always got a way of bringing about that need, fulfilling that need, <coughs> and providing, <coughs> excuse me, for your people. So, Father, we just give you the praise. In Jesus' name, amen. See you back here at 930. Amen.